Goal time in Lizzie Wollen between Cove Ramblers and Athlone Town and Cove extend the gap between the two teams in third and fourth place with a 3-2 win here over the host. Took the lead in 24th minute. Really good goal from Liam Kervik. He just dropped deep, drove at the Athlone goal, collecting the ball from the left-hand side, dipped the shoulder and just went by Germán Fuentes Rodriguez, really leaving him chewing dust. Got to a tight enough angle and just poked it beyond end of an oak. Really, really good finish from Liam Kervik to make it 1-0 Cove. Athlone had the line share of possession the rest of the half, didn't make it count. They didn't have a lot of great chances, but eventually their main man, Frank Pro, stepped up in a time of need right on the brink of half time. Simple ball went out to Haji Abdicate here on the right hand side, sent in a really sweet cross just into the perfect spot. Pro got up, headed it down into the back of the net to make it 1 1. Really perfect timing from Pro. Two sides went in at half time at level pegging. At Lund then started the second half, the better of the two sides got the reward in the 54th minute. Valerie Dahlia played a ball inside it to Matthew Leal. Miscontrolled it, but got the luck of the bounce. There was ricochet off the Cove defender, fell back into his path. Kind of a similar finish to Kervik in the first half. Just got to a tight angle, but curved it in with his right foot. Really, really good finish to make a two on Athlone. At this point, it looked deserved, but then again, the flip script, the script flipped. Cove kind of came back into it and started looking good for a goal. Didn't have many concrete chances. Then the 78 minute, an absolute wonder goal from Pierce Phillips. Ball was played out left to Wilson Boweru. He Got in behind the Athlone defence, waited for support to arrive, eventually lofted the ball over to the other side of the pitch or to the edge of the area, really, just set up for Pierce Phillips. He hit it on the half volley, hit it into the top corner. Absolutely beautiful goal to make a 2 2. And just like this, Cove had their tails up and they looked like they'd get a winner, and they did in the 84th minute through Wilson Moweru, um, the provider turning the finisher. Shot from long distance, I think it was from Phillips himself, actually. Tipped onto the bar by Endem and Oak. Really good save, but it just hit the underside of the bar, it just fell right for Moweru for a tap, and he put it in. And again, this game had, been, had gone completely on its head. These last 15 minutes really defined it as Cove managed to turn no points into three points. So they extend the gap between the two. Athlone remain in fourth, however, as Bray didn't get a win over three. He elsewhere tonight. But full-time here in Lizzie Wollen, it's Athlone Town 2, Cove Ramblers 3.